The international non-proprietary name IN, is an official generic and non-proprietary name given to a pharmaceutical drug or an active ingredient. International non-proprietary names make communication more precise by providing a unique standard name for each active ingredient, to avoid prescribing errors. The IN system has been coordinated by the World Health Organization WHO, since 1953. Having unambiguous standard names for each drug, standardization of drug nomenclature, is important because a drug may be sold by many different brand names, or a branded medication may contain more than one drug. For example, the branded medications Celexa, Celepram and Citral all contain the same active ingredient, Citalopram, and the branded preparation Lemsip contains two active ingredients, Paracetamol and Phenylephrine. Each drug's in is unique, but may contain a word stem that is shared with other drugs of the same class, for example the beta-blocker drugs propranolol and atenolol share the ololol suffix, and the benzodiazepine drugs lorazepam and diazepam share the azepam suffix. The WHO issues INS in English, Latin, French, Russian, Spanish, Arabic, and Chinese, and a drug's INS are often cognate across most or all of the languages, with minor spelling or pronunciation differences, for example, paracetamol N paracetamolum, le, paracetamol FR, and paracetamol RU. An established IN is known as a recommended IN RIN, while a name that is still being considered is called a proposed IN PIN. Name stems Drugs from the same therapeutic or chemical class are usually given names with the same stem. Stems are mostly placed word finally, but in some cases word initial stems are used. They are collected in a publication informally known as the stem book. Examples are Anab for angiogenesis inhibitors, e.g. pazopinib, Anserin for serotonin receptor antagonists, especially 5-HT2 antagonists, e.g. ritonserin and meonserin. ARIT for antiarthritic agents, e.g. labenserid. ASE for enzymes, e.g. alteplase. Azepam for benzodiazepines, e.g. diazepam and oxazepam. Cane for local anesthetics, e.g. procaine or cocaine. Cane for class 1 antiarrhythmics, e.g. procainamide. Coxib for COX-2 inhibitors, a type of anti-inflammatory drugs, e.g. celecoxib. Mab for monoclonal antibodies, e.g. infliximab, see nomenclature of monoclonal antibodies. Navir for antiretroviral protease inhibitors, e.g. darunavir. OLOL for beta blockers, e.g. atenolol. Pril for ACE inhibitors, e.g. captopril. Sardin for angiotensin II receptor antagonists, e.g. losartan. Tinib for tyrosine kinase inhibitors, e.g. imatinib. Vastatin for HMG CoA reductase inhibitors, a group of cholesterol lowering agents, e.g. simvastatin. Vir for antivirals, e.g. acyclovir or ritonavir. Arte for artemisinin antimalarials, e.g. artemether. CEF for cephalosporins, e.g. cephalexin. IO for iodine containing radiopharmaceuticals, e.g. iobenguane. VEC for gene therapy vectors, e.g. allopogene tipervivec. Linguistic discussion Stems and roots the term stem is not used consistently in linguistics. It has been defined as a form to which affixes of any type can be attached. Under a different and apparently more common view, this is the definition of a root, while a stem consists of the root plus optional derivational affixes, meaning that it is the part of a word to which inflectional affixes are added. In stems employ the first definition, while under the more common alternative they would be described as roots. Translingual communication Pharmacology and pharmacotherapy like healthcare generally, are universally relevant around the world, making translingual communication about them an important goal. An interlingual perspective is thus useful in drug nomenclature. The WHO issues INS in English, Latin, French, Russian, Spanish, Arabic, and Chinese. 
A drug's ins are often cognates across most or all of the languages, but they also allow small inflectional, diacritic, and transliterational differences that are usually transparent and trivial for nonspeakers, as is true of most international scientific vocabulary. For example, although paracetamolum has an inflectional difference from paracetamol N, and although paracetamol FR has a diacritic difference, the differences are trivial, users can easily recognize the same word. And although paracetamol ru, and paracetamol n, have a transliterational difference, they sound similar, and for Russian speakers who can recognize Latin script or English speakers who can recognize Cyrillic script, they look similar. Users can recognize the same word. Thus INS make medicines bought anywhere in the world as easily identifiable as possible to people who do not speak that language. Notably, the same word. Principle allows health professionals and patients who do not speak the same language to communicate to some degree and to avoid potentially life-threatening confusions from drug interactions. Spelling regularization A number of spelling changes are made to British-approved names and other older non-proprietary names with an eye toward interlingual standardization of pronunciation across major languages. Thus a predictable spelling system, approximating phonemic orthography, is used, as follows A or O is replaced by E, e.g. estradiol versus estradiol PH is replaced by F, e.g. amphetamine versus amphetamine TH is replaced by T, e.g. metamphetamine versus methamphetamine Y is replaced by I, e.g. acyclovir versus acyclovir H and K are avoided where possible. Names for radicals and groups, salts, esters, and so on. Many drugs are supplied as salts, with a cation and an anion. The way the IN system handles these is explained by the WHO at its guidance on IN. Web page. For example, amphetamine and oxacillin are INS, whereas various salts of these compounds, e.g., amphetamine sulfate and oxacillin sodium, are modified INS INNM. Comparison of naming standards Several countries had created their own non-proprietary naming system before the IN was created, and in many cases, the names created under the old systems continue to be used in those countries. As one example, in English the in name for a common painkiller is paracetamol. The table below gives the alternative names for this in different systems. See also Generic drug References Further reading International Nonproprietary Names in, for Pharmaceutical Substances CD-ROM. Lists 1-113 of proposed IN and lists 1-74 of recommended IN. Cumulative list number 16. World Health Organization, 2016. ISBN 9789240560369. External links. Lists of recommended and proposed INS. Essential Medicines and Health Products. World Health Organization. International Non-Proprietary Names. World Health Organization. Retrieved 2 April 2012. Pharmastemfinder. Biopharmanalyses. Retrieved 19 April 2015.